Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Brian and you're watching Film Photography Club. So today's video is about the Polaroid one-step camera. This I guess could work with a lot of different Polaroid cameras, but essentially what we're gonna try to do today is use some off-camera flash with uh, this Polaroid camera. And I will show you in a second how we're gonna do that. But uh, before we begin, uh, I just wanted to say, I have no idea if this is gonna work or not. I have not tested this, so this video could be a massive fail. Uh, I guess if you keep watching, you'll find out. All right, so what do we have going here? We have a Polaroid one-step camera. We have some Yang Nuo off-camera manual flashes. Boom and boom, one and two. And this radio wireless trigger. This trigger will fire these two flashes when it gets triggered. More importantly, how are we gonna trigger this trigger? I bought this trigger on Amazon. I don't know the name of it. There's a bazillion of them. You can even buy them on eBay. Uh, it cost me maybe $15. And it has a little sensor inside of this white dome and it will fire whatever is attached to it when a burst of light hits the light sensor. So if you haven't already figured it out, I'm going to put this light sensor in front of the flash on the Polaroid. And when I press the trigger on the Polaroid, this will fire, which will in turn fire the radio trigger, which will then fire these two Young Nuo flashes. So we have a bunch of film today. We have some color 600 film, which is my personal favorite. And we also have some black and white 600 film, which is also good, but not my personal favorite. And so hopefully between these three packs of film, we can get something that looks decent. The only sort of exposure control I have is well, A, knowing the ISO, which is 600 of the film, and the exposure compensation slider on the front of the camera. So basically we're underexposing the image and then relying on the flash, which the camera has no idea about, to make up for that underexposure. And our cameraman Chris here is going to put the camera on a tripod and be our stand-in model for today. Thank you, Chris. So first, let's get a base exposure without the flash. One, two, three. So right now I have the exposure compensation slider. I pulled it all the way down to the darkest setting and then backed it off just a little tiny bit. So it's almost at the darkest, but not quite all the way there. One, two, three. Did you see the flashes go off? All right, this time super serious, cool guy look. Here we go. Whoa. And here we go again, Chris. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. The car. 
here, will you grab the flashes? Oh. False alarm. One, two, three, four. Hi, sorry about the camera there. Let's try a super wide one. Okay. One, two, three. Oh yeah, we are on a roll, folks. Nice. One, two, three, four. Nice. We are done. <laughs> That was definitely frustrating. We've definitely had uh, some mixed results. Uh, you can head over to the website, filmphotography.club, to see them uh, in full resolution. Chris, thank you very much for being a part of this video. Chris here is going to be helping out a lot with uh, these videos, and so I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot more of him. And yeah, subscribe, and let me know what you think about this video. See you in the next one, bye. Hey, just a quick note, if you guys want to help support the channel and the website, you can head over to filmphotography.club and pick up a t-shirt. Also, if you've been living under a rock for the last few months, you may have missed that the Impossible Project film is actually now called Polaroid Originals. And this is their website here. And I actually like to buy my film directly from Polaroid Originals because I know that uh, it's been stored properly and will be shipped properly and sometimes you never know what you're going to get if you buy uh, your film elsewhere. Who knows, maybe a different seller could be keeping it in the back of their car and it's sitting in uh, scorching hot temperatures for a long period of time, which is never good for film. And so yeah, anyways, I'm not being paid to say this, just thought I'd point it out.